All right, raise up here zone here. You ever have a drill or an electric motor that does this? You turn it on, it just hums, and give it a spin, and away it goes. I'm going to show you how uh, how to fix that. We'll take apart the drill press. Well, all the wiring goes in through here <clears throat> to go to the switch. So unplug it first, and then go from there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it right off the, the main post here. And uh, lay it on the table. We could work on it there. Hopefully, it'll come off that way. There's a set screw on that uh, pulley. I think what I'll do is take that off, take the belt off, I undo that set screw. There's a set screw right here on this model. Now I should be able to take the motor out, electric motor off the screws for the bolts. Yeah, 13 and this guy. And a little rubber hammer and mallet. Let's see, I had it apart before I marked it. Now there should be, if you can see this, uh, let me prying that upwards here. Or if I could lift it up with my fingers. If you can see. You can't unhook this because there's a part of the the switch. Ah, that's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna take it right off. I hear my dog whining because I've got him tied to a chain in my shop because he's starting to wander. He likes to go out of the yard. I'm scared. I don't want him to get run over. Vinny, you be quiet now. You have to be quiet. Vinny, that's enough. Okay, so here's the problem. It's a centrifugal rotating switch here. Uh, you can see that it's loose. It moves up and down on this on the shaft. I get my fingers in there, but then you can't see what's going on. Um, and it's not even rotating on the shaft. What happens is, right now, it's uh, closed. And what happens is it goes and it pushes on this right here. Right spot for it to work. Um, I think what happens when it spins... Should pull that pull that down I think yes it'll pull downwards like that and then I guess it closes that so when this is open I guess the capacitor start that's what starts the motor gives it more power as soon as you hit the switch then as soon as it goes up to speed that flies outwards and then 
the other motor or this just a regular current takes takes over but i gotta figure out which <clears throat> where in the heck that guy sits might be a trial and error See if you can see what's going on, yeah. As soon as it starts going, that pulls that round plastic uh, sleeve back. And then there's a switch inside that makes contact. Just a straight power then. How much does it move? Quite a bit. So I'm going to go right as high as it'll go. And I'm going to tighten this sucker up good this time. I don't know why it came loose on me last time I guess the capacitor just gives it that extra boost to start so basically we're just gonna tighten that up and hopefully it's gonna be in the right spot so when I put it back together it's gonna work has to be rounded rounded nut on here too or, or a rounded bolt head all right hopefully this will work now we'll put it back together and just Maybe go like this and show you that part. Okay, now this, <clears throat> this is held open. Let's see here. I guess it's held open when the motor is, uh, off so when you start it it starts with a start capacitor when it starts it goes closed so hopefully we got her hopefully we got her in the right spot what the heck? oh yeah we'll just push that back together All right, we got this. We'll just tighten it up a little bit, not too much. A little bit at a time. And hope Hope, hope that we got it in the right spot. Let's turn this on now. We'll see what happens. I'm going to plug it in first, maybe. All right. There. You can hear it click now. click when you shut it off so what's happening is that clutches the springs are pulling it together as soon as you put some rotation on it it wants to pull back so well there we got that built well hopefully this video helped you uh maybe repair your own uh electric motor that Decided not to go. The only time it goes is if you give it a spin. Oh, it's maybe save you some money. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.